quarter century of music making with Michael Tilson Thomas creates more memories than can fit onto a two minute video, for now I'll stay with some recollections from his first years here. When MTT became our music director, the orchestra was already playing very well. An important idea he added early on was the emphasis on how performing and listening to music was connected with the inner life of a human being, a connection that transcended time and geography. It would be all well and good to merely ask musicians to play in this way, but Michael was willing to offer suggestions about nuances of phrasing and expression in the most explicit detail. The soundscape was meticulously planned, yet came out sounding spontaneous. If you'd like proof, I invite you to listen to any of the Mahler recordings we made with him. The music of Igor Stravinsky also figured prominently in MTT's first years. He had worked with Stravinsky as a young musician in Los Angeles. Michael was listening intently not only to how the old master conducted his own music, but to how he would sing lines for musicians during rehearsals. Many of these melodies are from Russian folk idiom and are highly florid. Stravinsky had these sounds ingrained in his head and did his best to put them down on paper which could only be an approximation of what he remembered from his childhood in St. Petersburg. I felt privileged to hear from MTT's voice the way these melodies should be played. Michael, my heart hurts that your grand finale musical celebration, which was planned for this spring, fell victim to the coronavirus pandemic. I look forward to many more wonderful collaborations with you as Music Director Laureate.